Hey everyone, you're watching Hashtag Espresso with Craig O on Facebook Live. I'm your host Craig Oshram from Cobalt Banker and the Around Town team. Any questions concerning the market? I'm always one text or phone call away, 203-856-6851. Today I was supposed to have a special guest, Darren Dyson from Carico Insurance out of Monroe, Connecticut. He's going to be coming on next Friday the 24th at 1.30. Um, to my right today, which of course is your left, is Ari Disraeli, a very close friend of mine, also a producer of Espresso with Craig O. I'm going to bring it to the next level as far as with the quality control, with video content, both matching up the audio and visual and sync together. And he's also owner of your tech department. What's up, my friend? How are you doing? Thank you for having me. Absolutely. You know, we've been talking about this for a while. That yep. I said, you know, doing my Espresso chats, you've been watching it, you've been enjoying it, engaging Absolutely. with it. Your wife's one of my biggest fans. She's liking it in comments. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lane. I appreciate it. But today, I wanted to do a Facebook uh, Live hashtag Espresso with Craig O review on all of the businesses that I've had in the past few months, which has kind of garnered that attention of some of my peers and also local businesses and some new clients. Um, Andy Sachs, who is from the Around Town team, uh, who's also my partner, he covers Northern Fairfield County. What we talk about is passive versus active actions. Yeah. And right now, this is a passive action, but the reason that I felt that the passive action of video is so powerful for any business is that I want people to be able to connect with you in a meaningful way where they get to know your personality. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it can't be forced or faked. It's not edited. You know, with my hashtag coffee with Craig O, which is on ashram.com, those are edited. So if I mess up or I flub, we can cut that and clip it. You can't do it on Facebook Live. Yeah. So you really have to be able to put yourself out there to be judged good or bad or indifferent. But I want to talk about some of the businesses that have been on here and some of the entrepreneurs. So I kind of just because there have been a number of them, I have the cheat notepad. <laughs> Normally my notes are hanging on the wall, which they are for my guests next week. You're not supposed to do a behind the scenes episode yet. <laughs> right, yeah. We actually did that actually last, last week and I, I forgot that you're not in my MailChimp system. We're going to put you in there. I want to talk about uh, Halpern and Associates accounting firm in Wilton, Connecticut. Now, these aren't just you know people you reference. These are people you used, right? 11 years strong. That's, that's uh, the biggest you know, uh, confidence builder and, and, and advertisement that you can do for somebody yeah. is using their services themselves. Yeah. Uh, that uh, yeah. says a lot. And uh, so the, you, they, you've been doing taxes with them yeah. and other stuff? So when I had my moving business, yeah. they would handle the taxes. And when I became a realtor three years ago, they helped me transition there. They were very supportive, uh, very understanding. Um, you know, they readjusted their rates for me so that I could, you know, stay in the game. Yeah. Because, you know, when you have a full-fledged moving business, you have employees, you have different forms to fill out. There's a lot of costs that are built in, monthly accounting fees. And, you know, they kind of circled around and said, here's what we're going to do uh, to help you. And I think I do value these long-term relationships. And when I do have to part ways with businesses ever if along the way it's it's a decision i don't take lightly and so i'm very i'm very grateful and i'm, I'm appreciative that that relationship is 11 years and running strong and they're amazingly wonderful um in saying that zach and barbara halpern from halpern and associates yeah. were on here uh, i think about three weeks ago and they had a special offer and zach i don't think you're going to have a problem with it they're going to get fifty dollars right, i'm re-offering it again fifty dollars if you call them for to get your taxes done halpern and associates in wilton connecticut Halpern and Associates, I'm going to make sure that I put their information below so that you can connect with them. And of course, I'm going to tag Zach and Barbara Halpern in there. Um, but yeah, very grateful. They're an amazing counting firm. Wonderful. I can't say enough good things about them. Next guest. Did you see the segment where I did with Michael and Mark Guberti? Not only did I see that, I actually talked with Michael myself after that because I was so impressed. How did you get... He, they are entre, very young entrepreneurs and philanthropists. How did you get connected with them? Which I thought that was a really interesting connector. So I do, I go kind of outside the box. So with my networking, I, if I read a paper and I like an article, I'm going to find that person. I just want to connect with them. So Mark Uberti, Michael's brother, 19 years old, has over 313,000 followers on Twitter. Wow. Which is a lot. And his engagement's up there, too, to, to coincide with the, with, the, with the reach. So it's not just likes, it's the engagement. It's not just how many, re, you know, it's not how many tweets, but how many retweets are you getting? And he writes a lot of great articles, blog content. I reached out to him and he had this one tip on Instagram. When you're doing Instagram, guys, the one tip that he gave was hashtag S for S, which is share for share. That is the most um, pinged at uh, hashtag, if it's the word pinged at. And um, I connected with him and then I said, hey, I want to 
talk to you guys and maybe get you on espresso with Craig. So they came on, and Mark is in love with Bella the buyer dog, um, which was great. Um, and so what was interesting is they came on, we had some great interaction. That video got a lot of reach. Mm -hmm. And from that, they've gotten business um, from some of the other people. But I, I reached out to, to Michael today as he's been helping me with some of my social media campaigns and just wanted to take everything that I'm doing to the next level. And, you, you know, your growth, you only grow when you have more people pushing behind you, the right people. Absolutely. And so um, Michael said, you know, listen, I'll give a 15-minute uh, phone call conversation on social media strategy. It's a free conversation. So... Um, I'm going to tag him in there, and all you have to do is click on that and request that you would like a free 15-minute phone consultation. That so, sounds like a great deal. You know, pretty much it. So the other business that I had was Work It Dance and Fitness in Norwalk, Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, and it was funny. You got that chuckle. What was crazy about it is so they do pole fitness. Yeah. And it's one of those things that Michelle said, you know, we're not just a novelty. We are the ultimate in core fitness and workout. And if Absolutely. you want to take your body to the next level, this is the ultimate challenge. So rather than you just kind of going, oh, what's that? Oh, that's a, go try it. No, it's real, it's real aerobic workouts. It's yeah. a real, it, I thought that was a very interesting episode. And they also do dance classes as well. Yeah, exactly. And they also do burlesque. And burlesque is actually more risque than pole fitness yeah. is. But again, everybody has a stigma, but you've got to try it. It's amazing. Michelle and Tony Abrizi. They're absolutely incredible. They're good at what they do. They're passionate about it. They're in love with their business. And for that, I, I just love them for that. It's just amazing. Janine Garafia. Uh huh. So she wrote Tim and the Sevens. Let me just make sure I have this right. right here's my you met her through me, something like that. I did, years, years ago. ago. Yeah. So she wrote a children's book called Tim and the Seven Snow Wonders of the Agent World. Wow. And I read it to Jacob. Jacob's like grabbing at the pictures. You know, he's a seven-month-old son. He's just grabbing at the pictures, you know, ripping through. And I said, no, I don't need you to destroy this book before our hashtag Espresso with Craig O episode. <laughs> um, she's a very good, she's very good at what she does. She's a good writer. She got the right illustrator with her. And this is a, one part of a three-part series. She's going to all the local libraries. I'm going to tag her in there. It's a great book. It's also on um, one of the websites that you can actually purchase it. It's, it's a great book. And I, I highly recommend that if you have children, that you, you get it. It's a good read. I have to get that one for uh, Rebecca, my, my new two-month-old as well. So. That's crazy. She's yeah. got a full head of hair. Yeah, she was born with a full head of hair. but <laughs> Unlike Daddy, who's losing it very quickly. Cure Spa in Norwalk, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to Liz and Greg Liu. Um, absolutely incredible. I call it the day to, to rejuvenate and just replenish all the cells in your body. So, you know, they have this thing called PEMF therapy. Um, it's basically, it's this circular tube that goes on you and it just uses uh, natural force from the earth. I know I'm probably, Liz, Liz, I'm butchering this a little bit, but you, I know you'll get in there with me and you'll, you'll help me out on this one. But basically, it, it alleviates a lot of the pain. And it goes to injured areas in the body. So if you have an injured ankle or an injured foot, this is something that is really effective. And they also have a thing called the Vibersum. Yeah, you, I've heard about that, and I remember the uh, it episode. It heats you up. It shakes you at the same time. Yeah, we had with Adam D. Young of D. Young Media. Hey, Adam, what's going on, my friend? What was interesting about the Vibersum is they're doing a free session. Really? One free session. It's Normally, it's a $45 value. Cure Spa in Norwalk, Connecticut. You guys have to check it out. Uh, I've done the Vibersaun a, a, a number of times, and um, I highly recommend that it's something that you try. That'll be the next thing I try. Yeah, and it's, but it's different. It's different from just getting a basic massage. So they have this three package, which is the rejuvenate, renew, and replenish. Whew. I was like, wait a minute. Am I getting the R's wrong? And so basically, you start off with the Vibersaun. Then you work your way to a massage, and then after you get a fresh green juice. I actually got this from Trader Joe's this morning. I'm on the green juice kick. I'm trying to just... Push coffee and espresso. Just minimize it a only, little bit. Only for the videos. Uh, only, I've got enough only... energy. I, I, don't, oh, I don't need any more. Yes, we we know this to be the case. So, um, Also, with the virus on, we actually want to put a coupon up later today. That's from our deals around town. From the around town team, myself and Andy, we have a website where we put coupons from local business owners. Um, so that will be on there as well. Um, Break a Lake Theater Works. Did you see that one? I, I That was the, uh, the, the young... Uh, the, the young uh, actors or the or the professional actors professional. that came back and that actually that was a, a the the member that you had there was the actor was a 
Uh, Lion uh, King. Lion King. It's Thank okay. You. I, no, I they're was, watching. They're watching. Uh, we got it. It's okay. But because uh, I thought that was so amazing. Because I've had Kyle, a friend that worked on Lion King, I, and I, that, that was one of my favorite episodes. Kyle, Kyle Rents and Healy Samus. They they're par they're partnered up in this. Yeah. Uh, Healy is from Massachusetts, and um, they've been friends forever. They were in theater together. They teamed up. Kyle will appreciate you and love you for calling him young. <laughs> Kyle, I think you just celebrated your 40th birthday. It's on your Facebook page, so the secret's out. Wow. wow. I'm closing in on 40 uh, this August. Oh, my God. It's crazy how fast time goes. Let's not talk about it. We've only studied since college. <laughs> yeah. So what was great about them is that they, they are truly passionate and in love with making a difference in kids' lives. And what I thought was interesting is, aside from just being theater works, yeah. um, you know, and saying, okay, which kids want to act on Broadway? He said, I don't care if you're on the football field. I don't care if you're a ballerina. I don't, I don't care if, if you want to just work in a corporate job. You should you, get exposed to theater. But well. they work on the most important thing, which is confidence. Yeah. And to me, that was everything, is that it was, it, it, they're, they're, in a, they're in an environment where they're nurturing the confidence of young people. You know, we look for our kids just wanting that, and, and they're doing that. When was, was that show last week, or was it coming I think up? it was two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, it was after Barbara and Zach Halpern from Halpern. No, no, I meant the show that they were ad they were advertising. That they so were that's the 27th program. of March. I'm glad that you yeah. asked that. And I put the flyer up. I'm going to repost that again today from all of these businesses. So follow Craig Ashton Realtor today so that you can catch up with everybody that I've tagged, any questions that you have. So on today's page, you'll see all of those notes. But they're doing a workshop, and they work with children from anywhere from the ages of 7 to 20 years old. And it's just incredible. They have a true passion, and they bring in people from, from Broadway. Yeah. And the fact that... Um, professional actors. Yeah, well, Kyle himself working. is a professional actor. Yeah. So, you know, he gets to bring in everybody, and it's just, it's pretty awesome. So great, that was great. Great that. that was a lot. I, that, was, that was a great program that they were running, and yeah. I just, I, I enjoyed hearing a so lot about that. So my second author that I had on, aside from Janine Garafio, uh, who wrote the children's book, um, was Chris Salem. He wrote a book called The Root Cause. He's truly an entrepreneur uh, who is a motivational speaker. Um, but you know, a lot of the times you'll hear with motivational speakers, like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And for me, I did a lot of vetting before I had him come on. And I, I like his book. I like what he's about. Um, I feel that he's genuine and he's to the point. Um, and again, it's The Root Cause. It's on um, Amazon. You can get that book on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just would uh, make recommendation. And by the way, Janine Grafio's book, Tim and the Seven... Uh, Wow, this is great. Tim and the Seven Snow Wonders of the Agent World. You can actually get that on blurb.com. Blurb. Blurb. There's so many dot-coms. I, I know, can't I know. keep track of it. So the other one that I want to talk to is uh, Gold Coast Connect. They're yep. Fairfield County's premier networking group. Um, they have a Facebook page. They have a website. But I was so upset that I missed their event on the 2nd of March. But you don't March. have to miss it. They're doing so monthly now. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Carrie Miller and Randy Learman? What's going on, ladies? So they're they're both co-owners. They own it together. Um, they're going to be doing a mingles mix, and um, and I know that I'm butchering it up. There's three words: Mindle, mingles mix uh, for businesses, local businesses. And um, with that being said, every advertiser who is in there is going to be able to utilize their storefront for one night. To have all of the advertisers come in to network to do business because again whenever you invest in anything there is a level of ROI return on investment however it does ultimately come down to the participation what I love about these two ladies is that they're so passionate about what they do so they had they come off this event on March 2nd yeah. which is at the Westport and I don't know where the next event is gonna be I'm really excited to hear about it so am I. Um, but it's just a great way for business owners to connect with the community, for the community to connect with the local business owners and see what's out there and what's new. Um, so really I hope, I hope your tech department and your cloud phone get invited to that one. Or, or Craig will either drag so me over. Anything that plugs in the wall. You, yeah. you're sitting on the couch. Here's a little bit away because we're going to be tagging everybody today. Tell me about your tech department, when you got started. Let's be quick about it, but, but let's get to the point on uh, this you're, I, uh, Oh, boy. I started your tech department <laughs> about 10 years ago. Um, <laughs> Uh, we started basically as a computer consultancy. We're, we're supposed to be the outsourced IT department. The reason we say anything that plugs into a wall and the reason we named it your tech department is because we don't want people to see us as just another consultant. We want them to see us as a part of their team. I have clients that give me keys to their offices because we have to do maintenance or we have to do emergency work sometimes uh, after hours on weekends. 
so it one of the the greatest things as a consultant I can feel is and being accepted as a part of their team is when they trust me to do things like that. When they give me access to their offices, they say you're you're welcome here whenever you need to be here. How can people connect with you? Best way to connect with us is uh, through our website or email. Uh, and here's what I'm going to do to yeah. make it easy in this body. I'm going to tag you, Ari Disraeli, or we can even put your tech auger in there. Yeah. You can connect with him. You have any questions related? Whenever I have a computer problem, he's the first person I call. I mean, not to mention he's one of my very best friends. First, I hope I'm the only one you call. <laughs> no, you're one of my first. <laughs> <laughs> so, iGlass Drive, 2017. Yeah, the new, uh, the new iGlass Drive. So, what was interesting with the new iGlass Drive? It's only one iGlass Drive. What was interesting well, you did is the last that, year too. No, I did the coat and sweater drive of 2016. Ah, okay. I apologize. This I'm teaming up with teaming up with the Lions Club. Junk Luggers and Luggers Moving in Stanford, Connecticut. Hey, Josh Cohen. They have a part in it. Dawn Del Greco. She came up with a great idea. Everything great happens over coffee. Rapport is built. Yep. Relationships are formed. Trust is formed. And great things happen. The eyeglass drive. If anybody has any eyeglasses they want to donate, if you stuck this long in the video, if you have any eyeglasses, just search your home. Um, we're donating them to the Lions Club. And uh, I'm really excited about that. I also want to give a shout out to, if, if you can just grab that bag to your right. Yep. So the Sunrise of Stanford, Wendy Kaufman, I want to give a shout out. Sunrise of Stanford, Brighton Gardens of Stanford, Wendy Kaufman, she's, she's a superhero. She's been really proactive within her community, getting eyeglasses. Thank you so much. It's a great senior community. You can put it down now. I just see an orange head, an orange head. So here's the one thing I really want to get to today. Yeah. So we were talking about, for the longest, we're now doing the oh. tripod with Apple. And I almost yeah. just wonder if Steve Jobs is like, listen, I'm going to create the best technology so as technology keeps evolving... Android is going to just further fall behind because I've been using this forever and I'm like Now I get to use this today. So explain about what is this? Okay, first of all part of the reason I guess I get I get the creator uh, the, the producer credit at the bottom of the email will be uh, Because we've uh, your tech department has invested over the last year in more and more AV work We're doing drones now. We're doing photography now and now we're doing expanding into helping with AV uh, small offices and like and small business owners like yourself uh, with AV work and Facebook Live presentations and things like this. Mm -hmm. So we've purchased a new camera, which is called a Mevo camera. Yeah. And uh, Mevo is is a produced by a company called Livestream, and Livestream is a partnership or a subsidiary or something like that with Facebook. And uh, they, for, this is cutting edge technology. Uh, if you've been watching the video this long, you've been able to see that uh, for the first time, Craig has been able to have some cuts and some close-ups on him and be able to, it, lo it looks like a multi-camera production, a, a close-up on me, a close-up on Craig, and then the wide-angle shot, and that's all being produced from a single camera. And unfortunately, they've only produced an app for the iPhone, so I'm actually I holding up, I, I hate to admit it because I've been an Android guy for years, but, uh, and, and I laugh because I tend to think that iPhone is going, it's going it's the such, opposite way. But it's way. such a big thing to switch your phones because then it's you do a security reboot, make sure that everything's okay. When this phone goes up, it's, it's, this is like a, your right arm. Well, and now you're telling me that my right arm won't be able to throw a ball. I mean, that's Well, the, kind there's of two it different is. things. It's about switching phones every year, which we oh. all have to do, which is a huge, colossal pain in the butt. Uh, but then there's the other question about trying to decide which ecosystem do you want to be in. Do you want to be an Android or do you want to be an iPhone? And I, this is I, I had to find an iPhone in order to run this camera because this camera is the next technology. But yeah. for right now, there is no Android app. They so decided to, to focus on iPhone. That's um, and, but normally I carry, and this is going to look really geeky, I carry my Samsung Galaxy S7 and I actually carry a tablet. Uh, which is also Android. And just in case and you need some light, you got your two pens right by your and, side. Of yeah, I meant to pen. take those off before the video started, but Craig uh, got me a little flustered. I gotta say, going live is, I, I've done videos that have been taped. Going live had me a little bit nervous. Had me just a little bit flustered. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get better and uh, yeah. and, and you'll have me back or I didn't of course totally embarrass myself. Of course it will. It's, it's not, you know what, it's the idea of, because it's just you and I in a room with a camera, but it's it's kind of interesting how that how that works into the mental, yep, the mental absolutely. being, the mental psychology. Yes, Woo. it's all you know, about I'm psychology. looking forward, I've, I've, I've got a number of buyers, I've got some listings coming to the market. Um, it's truly, it's an honor and it's exciting that when I can work with people that like, they trust me and they believe that I can execute the task and being their agent, it's an honor. And 
you know, the reason I do these espresso chats is not just to get new business. That's great. I, I've caught some new clients from doing this, which has been wonderful. Um, I've captured their attention and we've formed a relationship. But what's interesting is that I love to help promote businesses in my area that are doing amazingly great things that reciprocate to other business owners and they pay it forward. It might not be paid directly to me, but that's what I love about the hashtag Espresso with Craig O brand. And that's why I continue to build it forward is that every day on intention, I'm always getting to learn or study more. So today, uh, Darren was supposed to come on. He's going to be coming on next week. He got stuck in the office. But, you know, we were going to ask him, you know, why do people need insurance agents? Yeah. And, you know, we're going we're gonna to talk a little bit about that next week. And Both of us with little ones, you know, get a, a real wake-up call when it comes to that question about why do we need insurance agents? Because all of a sudden, we've got a little one that we're responsible for, and we got to take care of that, make sure they're taken care of, even yeah. if we're not around. That's a huge question. I'm actually really And we're going to also talk about the difference between insurance agencies and insurance brokerage. He's going to go over a little bit of that. As mm -hmm. far as with brokerage, just from what I understood, what he explained to me is that they charge fee on top of what agencies do. So it's just a lot of interesting stuff. And again, yeah. I like to learn about my guests. I like to engage in them because in that way, we're able to um, you know, forge forward and build a strong relationship and bond. Um, Ari, thanks for being on Hashtag Espresso with Craig O. Thank you for having the me. The elongated version, but this is kind of fun to test yeah. this equipment out. Yeah, exactly. And I can't wait to tag everybody in there and just continue to promote businesses. And by the way, quick shout out to Cafe Dolce in Norwalk. Zoltan, you are awesome. Um, I went in this morning and you know I do a lot of business there. I, do, I get all my coffee from there. Um, meet, have all my coffee appointments there. It's on 345 Main Avenue in Norwalk. And he just gave me a few extra cakes. And that's just a, just a little act of kindness. Yeah. Went a long way. So, uh, you know, it's my friend's birthday. They're coming over tonight, and um, I'm going to probably... Happy birthday. Uh, Gil Harrell. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, Gil. And Amy Harrell. It was her birthday uh, earlier this week. So, shout out to you guys, because I'm going to tag you in. He goes, I'll call my friend Gil. Craig O. So, that's it. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thank you for watching Hashtag Espresso with Craig O on Facebook Live. And again, if you have any questions about the market, I'm always one text or phone call away. 203-856-6851. Thank you.